Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. I did notice, notice today, Court, there was uh, quite a bit of cloudiness out there, but you're saying we can expect some changes. Yeah, even bigger changes on the way for the last day of February, and they're very welcome changes as far as what we're going to be seeing for tomorrow. Getting a look at what we are seeing, cloudy skies today, as Alan had just mentioned. We're getting much cooler as we head into the weekend as well. Temperatures today still were in those low to mid 70s for your afternoon. Tomorrow we're seeing around a 10 plus degree drop in many areas. That's going to put us down to around average. Mountain showers looking very likely for tomorrow evening, and then Gusty winds returning on Sunday, so we do have a couple of watches and warnings to pass along to you as well. As far as what we're seeing out there right now, cloudy skies, 72 degrees in Chico, wind out of the southeast to around 6 miles an hour at the moment. Redding, 70 degrees right now, mostly clear skies, so those clouds becoming a bit thicker in southern areas and then moving up to the north through the day. Bernie, partly cloudy right now, 58 degrees. Bernie topped out in the mid-60s this afternoon. So it's been a pretty warm day out there. Now, moving into tomorrow, we have a winter weather advisory going into effect at 5 p.m. Saturday through 4 a.m. Sunday for portions of Plumas and Lassen counties for tomorrow evening through early Sunday. One to three inches of snowfall look likely. At the onset, it could be fairly heavy as that moves in. So that's why we're seeing that weather advisory in effect. Localized up to five inches of snow in some areas. Snow levels 4,000 feet tomorrow down to as low as 2,000 feet on Sunday. And then getting a look at what we're seeing on Sunday, a wind advisory going into effect for the valley 10 a.m. through 8 p.m. And that's limited to the valley on Sunday. It does look like we're going to see winds sustained up to 30 miles an hour gusts, possibly in that 40 to 45 mile an hour range. And that could block tree limbs down into roadways, could cause some travel issues, could also lead to some power outages. So keep that in mind on Sunday. That could also blow around some things that you have in your yard. So if you have some loose items out there, you might want to bring them in before that sets in on Sunday. As far as what we're seeing on the satellite and radar, clouds moving up from the south, and we'll see more clouds as we head through your weekend as a low pressure area drops down from the Pacific Northwest. This is what's really bringing us to change of pace. Now the cold front moves through tomorrow and then the chance for showers not long after that, and that's really going to give us a big change as far as temperatures go. Valley areas seeing a very slight chance for sprinkles. Mountain areas very likely seeing some showers moving through tomorrow and snow again down to around 4,000 feet tomorrow evening, seeing that down to around 2,000 feet for your morning on Sunday, and we will see snow levels around 2,000 to 2,500 feet in portions of the northern mountains through your weekend. For tomorrow, temperatures back up in the mid 40s to low 50s in the northern mountains. Cloudy with that chance for showers throughout the day. Cloudy showers looking more likely for your evening than the afternoon in the Sierra and Cascades with mid 40s to low 50s there. Foothill areas expected to top out in the low to mid 50s for tomorrow, so not as warm as today. Mostly cloudy skies, a slight chance for showers tomorrow night. And then for the valley, it's low to mid 40s overnight. Mostly cloudy skies through the day tomorrow with low 60s. Expected to mostly stay dry in the valley, but that big drop in temperatures on the way. Mid 40s in the mid valley tonight. Tomorrow back up into those low to mid 60s for your afternoon. Your storm tracker seven day forecast where your weekends always in view. Low 60s through your weekend, so temperatures at or just below average for this time of year. Finally, and then we do see those gusty winds developing on Sunday after a slight chance for showers overnight Saturday into early Sunday. Sustained winds potentially in that 20 to 30 mile an hour range with gusts up to 40 miles an hour. And then we're back to the high 60s to low 70s for the start of next week with mid 70s by midweek next week. All right. Thank you, Court. Well, Cal Fire.